have three days in Belfast and only two days of sightseeing so I really wanted to know more about the history and to get to know the actual city so that's why I fully packed it. I usually love to take my time and just chill out and only do two things or three things maximum a day but today I'm doing like four. I'm starting today with the Titanic Museum. Wow, the Titanic Museum was amazing. I absolutely loved it. It made me tear up at the end and it was such a great experience. You would need a minimum of an hour and a half, but that's with you rushing. But if you don't want to rush, I would suggest about three hours. It was full of information. I used the audio guide and it was super helpful. Like so much I didn't know. All I knew was the Titanic movie. It turns out they made the ship in Belfast, a lot of the people who worked on it were from here and they really suffered like the work conditions for like the Titanic was horrible like a lot of people died, a lot of people got injured and became deaf it was just like a really good experience to know and I loved their little five minute ship experience for you to go through where the worker were we're going. With the Titanic Museum ticket, you get um, to get into one of the ships, which is the last remaining one from the White Star Lane. And it's really cool to just see how it was. This one was a much smaller ship and they've only used it for like 30 minutes, but it was repurposed and there was like new laws that were applied to it. It's quite interesting. It's quite small, so it wouldn't take you longer than an hour, but, or I did it in 10 minutes, but I'm rushing, but you can stay here at least half an hour. I'm just headed to the walking tour right now. They have two a day, like two free walking tours in Belfast, one at 11 and another one at 2. I'm catching the morning one because I love to know about the city, like when I get into the city. I'm just catching a taxi from the museum because I packed my day way too much. If you were me, I would advise you to do the museum and the walking tours on separate days or after each other. This is where they make and design the jewelry for Game of Thrones. It's real jewelry made in Belfast. Around City Hall, they have a memorial for everybody who boarded the Titanic and died. of Belfast. Eat in Belfast, the grill. Let's check out the menu. I feel like there is, yes, there is something for me. Well, hello. So I just finished the walking tour and it was actually quite nice. And the weather is half cloudy, half sunny. So having some of the sun outside made the day really nice. I absolutely loved um, getting to know the city, knowing more of the history and seeing the main sites. It was like I didn't have a lot of expectations so it was really nice to see. And now I stopped in Made in Belfast restaurant to get some quick lunch before my next tour. So you imagine that the two communities starting to pull apart. This is Bombay Street, this is one of the streets that were burnt to the ground. The British government sent in the British Army from London to keep the peace between the two communities. So the British Army started off with the barbed wire, okay, and then anybody on this side wasn't allowed over the other side of the barbed wire. So this is, you can see, this is Devist Tower where we started the tour. So this is all the streets. 
So this is a, the, the Protestant did all the way over. Do you understand? Yeah. And then the bar bar was the first barricades in August 69. Then the British took away the barbed wire and then they started constructing the, the wall over the next 40 years and it gradually gets higher and higher. Stopped here on Clan's Dog and it turns out this is the St. George's Market everybody was telling me about. Um, I'm gonna go take a quick look. buy stuff but I think it's a great place to buy presents <laughs> look at all this temptation and pastels and nachos we'll judge you after a whole day of exploring now I'm quite hungry and before I end this video I just wanted to show you my vegetarian dinner I hope you guys enjoyed my full day in Belfast. Tell me in the comments below if you've been to Belfast or if you're planning to come and I'd love to hear from you. Belfast is a small city but I would still give it about two to three days to see all the possibilities. You could do as I did and pack like the main sites in one day but I think you'll enjoy it better if you have a whole weekend dedicated just to the city. In my next video I'm going to show you the nature beyond the city of Belfast so stay tuned and don't forget to share, like, subscribe. See you next time.